All right, so you might have heard by now about the Silicon Valley bank collapse, the second largest bank collapse in U.S. history. But something similar seems to be happening in Wells, with Wells Fargo. So, you know, in this channel, I make videos about, you know, mostly financial videos and so on. But in my day job, I work as a contractor, as a software developer contractor. And yesterday I was supposed to get paid, but I didn't. So I didn't think anything of it. I emailed the contracting firm that pays me and uh, had an email exchange. And then today I wake up and I find out that Wells Fargo customers are having this problem all across the country. They just didn't get their paychecks. So I'm like, hmm. So I was like thinking, you know, I was trying to put two and two together here. I was like, there was a bank collapse less than 24 hours ago. And now this is happening with Wells Fargo. But anyway, to let you know what the contracting firm said when I asked them about why I didn't get paid, they said, hope you're doing well due to some internal error in the bill pay payment system. This payment was not processed on Wednesday. Sorry for the inconvenience. We processed the payment today and funds will reach to your account by Tuesday. Thanks for the understanding. So, yeah, I mean, like, I, I was like, okay, yeah, it sounds fine. That sounds normal. But, uh, I mean, like, uh, then it's like I wake up today and I find out this is happening with a lot of people. I mean, I mean like, a lot, a lot of people, right? So, you know, there was obviously a bank run, a Silicon Valley bank. People were trying to get their money out. Some couldn't. There was even a case where there was a guy where... He had like millions of dollars in Silicon Valley Bank in an account and he was trying to withdraw and then they wouldn't let him and they called the cops on him. I mean, that's kind of crazy. As you know, FDIC insurance only insures you for up to $250,000. And the thing is with, with Silicon Valley Bank, this is a bank that's used by mostly tech startups. So it turns out, I was looking into it, it turns out only 3% of accounts in Silicon Valley Bank are under $250,000. So 99% of all the accounts have over $250,000 and they just can't get their money. They're done. Obviously, this all needs to be sorted out. They might get their money back over time or something that might take a couple of years. But we're in for some problems, people, because look, if these companies have all their cash locked up, maybe they need their cash for other things. They need their cash to pay employees, right? And if they run out of cash, and we're going to be looking at some more job losses. So things are not good. And if the same thing is happening with Wells Fargo at this time, yeah, we, we got a lot to think about. The, the best thing you can do, well, if you have all your money tied up in Wells Fargo, I would get it out. I mean, I, I have, I, mean, I don't have, you know, don't put, your, put, don't put all your eggs in one basket, have different accounts across different, different banks, and then if you don't want to rely solely on fiat currency, you're at it, you may buy gold, that's the most secure, you know, buy crypto, right? Crypto may be down, markets may be down at this time, but it's still a lot more secure than fiat currency. If, you, if you're concerned about Bitcoin, uh, look at Monero. Monero is even more secure. If, if you haven't heard of it or if you don't know much about it, I would encourage you to take a look at Monero. And the other thing is, is like, you got to do all you can to make sure you own your home. You own a home, you own your home. And, and, uh, and if, you, if you have your home, you have real estate, and, you ha and they just can't take it away from you because you own it, right? They can take your bank account away from you. They can just take it away from you. And then you have nothing, absolutely nothing. So, yeah.